Solving trigonometric equations, question 10. Solve sin x plus cos x equals to 1, where x is between 0 to 2 pi. But this is a very interesting example, and you must have seen, you know, first five examples kind of straightforward, and then we had the examples where some solutions were not true, some were true, and some had many more ex solutions than you expected, right? <laughs> so, and this one is also very typical. And, oh, well, it's not a very easy question to solve either. The very first step in this equation is kind of difficult. Well, there are many ways to solve these kinds of equations. Let's go through one, which is algebraic solution, which I'm going to give you. So we have the function sine x plus cos x equals to 1. And the trick to solve this is square both sides. Right? Square both sides, then you'll get, you'll get something which can be solved very easily. That's, that's the one. Otherwise, it's a very difficult question to solve. One way to solve is graph both the functions. Right? Once you graph them, then the points of intersection will give you the solution, right? Let's square both sides. So if we square both sides, then what do we get? Remember one thing. When you square both sides, you incorporate errors. Why? Because let's say it's minus 2. When you square minus 2, you get plus 4 all of a sudden, right? The negative value becomes positive. So squaring really leads to errors also. So, so in your solution, remember to check all your answers, okay? Let's square both sides, so we get what? We get sine x plus cos x whole square equals to one square. Let me write this step. And when I square it, I get sine square x plus two sine x cos x plus cos square x equals to 1. Now you know sine square x plus cos square x is 1, right? So you get 1 plus 2 sine x cos x equals to 1. And that leads to 2 sine x cos x equals to 0. Now, if 2 sine x cos x is 0, then the possibilities are either sine x is 0 or cos x is 0, right? So we have a couple of solutions here. Let's think about it like this. So we have sine x equals to 0 or we have cos x equals to 0, okay? Now when is sine x 0? So in a wave, uh, okay, let's draw a sine x here now. Let's say this is my sine x. Sine x is 0 for 3 points in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So sine x is actually 0, that means we get x equals to 0, right? And we have to give answers in radians, correct? So and this is half the cycle which is pi and then this is 2 pi so these are the three solutions when sine x is 0 now how about cos x to be 0 now cos x 0 is like this let me just draw cos x 0 here right so cos x 0 is kind of like this right so these are the two solutions for cos x equals to 0 and that gives us x equals to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So these are possible solutions. So we write them as possible solutions, right? Why am I writing possible solutions? Because we checked that these could give us zeros, right? Still we are saying possible uh, since, so you got 0, uh, we write pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, okay, we could have written pi here, okay, pi in between and then 2 pi. So these are all possible solutions. Why am I saying possible solutions? Well, you remember, initially I said, when we square, we incorporate errors, right? That is why I'm saying, right? This could be minus one, but when I square minus one, I get plus one. Those are the errors, correct? So we have to figure out if these values really give us the right solution or not, correct? So let's check them one by one and this is a very important exercise without checking you just can't write it right so our equation is sine x so we'll just write here sine x plus cos x equals to one this is our equation if we plug in zero let's check the first value zero okay what is sine zero sine zero is zero right zero and what is cos zero cos zero is one and so we get one so this is correct so we say well zero is correct fine let's use different thing and select pi by 2 
Now pi by 2 is is here, right? So pi by 2 for sine is 1 and plus cos pi by 2 is here over to 0 and we get 1 and that is correct. Good job. And now let's check the third value and let's say third value is 3 pi by 2. Now 3 pi by 2 is this value and this value, correct? 3 pi by 2 which is this value. Now cos of 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and sine of 3 pi by 2 sorry not this 3 pi by 2 is this, this is pi this is this is 3 pi by 2 correct is 0 so whoa well, we don't get 1 we get minus 1 that is what I was saying when you square minus 1 becomes plus 1 and that incorporates error so that is not a solution so that is not a solution we call this as extraneous root not a good solution we will not put this as our solution now let's try pi now for pi sine is 0 let's use a different thing okay so for pi sine is 0 and how about cos for cos pi value is minus 1 minus 1 so that also doesn't work so this also does not work for us correct so it doesn't work so all the values which add to minus 1 don't really work for us correct and now last 2 pi 2 pi sine is 0 for us plus cos of 2 pi is 1 1 and that is good enough that is good so that is correct so we basically get out of 5 3 correct rules correct and therefore we can say answer is that is our solution really is x equals to 0 that is the first pi by 2 that is correct for us right pi by 2 we got 1 plus right that is why it is correct and 2 pi so these are really the three solutions for us so that is a very very interesting example and I've seen this example in the test so many times please don't forget to test your answers and reason of these errors is now absolutely clear to you it is because of squaring when we squared we squared minus 1 and made it plus 1 and you know that was really not the right thing to do correct but anyway squaring was in strategy to help us find the other three correct answers so the strategy works I hope you take a lot from this share with your friends and write your comments thank you